Well, hello everybody! My name is Pazu, welcome to Among the Innocent, a stricken town, guys. So, yes, uh, this game is uh, supposed to be episode 8. So, this is like episode 1, and it's newly released today on Steam. Very, very excited to play this game. Uh, it is supposed to be an adventure game. Maybe a little bit of horror. The autumn night is calm and crisp in the town of Williamsburg, when suddenly its stillness is interrupted by a distant shouting match. Peter York and Stephanie Jacobs are arguing again. God damn it, just tell me what's on your mind, Peter pleads with his girlfriend. Her response, it's not that simple, Pete, just listen, please. We have important things to talk about, but you need to calm down first. I can't, he cries. Fine, Steph fumes. She admits defeat once more. Pete's stoicism, an unmovable force when he gets like this. Fine. Pete storms out of the house, slamming the door behind him. He needs to cool off. He's trembling. Steph alone and furious with Pete for another of his childish outbursts, has a lot to think about. Pete jumps on his motorcycle and tears off into the night. Some time passes. Pete cruises along the roads of this quiet part of the world. The country air soothes his nerves. His anxiety begins to simmer to a cool hum now that the confrontation with Steph has slid to the back of his mind. Backed by the calmness washing over him, Pete is filled with a sudden sense of adventure. He turns up a dusty mountain road. The road winds up into the rocky surrounds, its breadth growing narrow as the looming mountains reach taller. Without warning, the ground begins to tremble. Rocks above dislodge from their ancient positions, cascading down and around Pete. He loses control, his bike wobbling like a drunk. It spins out from under him and he is flung to the ground. Pete awakens, slowly, groggily. The rocks have fallen in behind him. Together with the high canyon walls, they block his return. His bike lies there, a twisted, useless wreck. Ahead is an open farm gate, and the road continues across a bridge. If he can find a telephone or help, his knee protests as he lurches onwards. He heads off, through the gate, across the bridge. A log cabin is up ahead. There are no lights on, and the area bears a grave stillness. Pete approaches the cabin and knocks on the front door. No answer. He knocks again, more forcefully. Still no response. He creeps open the door. The inside is dark and musty. His footprints leave impressions in the dust as he walks inside. Hello? Anyone? Pete is alone. His damaged knee gives in to its injuries and Pete collapses to the floor. His energy is sapped and he needs to rest. A dilapidated couch in the room looks like a luxury compared to sleeping outside, so he decides to lie down, just for a while. Yeah, so once again, that that conversation that I mean that um, that opening sounds really like an audiobook have you guys listened to uh, audiobooks before <laughs> or borrow some of those books from the library so yeah that reminds me of that sudden crashing noise wakes you from a sweaty nightmare your clothes are soaked through okay I'm not going to click I will just wait my leg. I need to get out of here. Steph will be worried. Okay, so my name is Pete and my wife is Steph. And yeah, I sort of ran away from home after that 
long argument, I suppose. An abandoned house. Okay, so that's why I slept during the night. Doesn't seem to be locked, but I can get the door open. Oh, some unknown forces at work. Hey, Ren, hello, welcome. Uh, yes, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. What is that? Some utensils? Barbecue forks. An old countertop gas stove that would have been cheap even for its time. It is covered in grime and solidified grease. Hmm. Got better things to do than clean up someone else's mess. Of course, this is not my mess, guys. <laughs> what should I do to dishes? Old kettle. Yeah, this place is a bit run down, isn't it? An abandoned house? In the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Look at that view. It is the middle of nowhere. Large pod? Yeah, knock it over. <laughs> knock that pod over. Spice of your life. Uh, 100 fun spicy recipes. Wow. Oh, it's a little bit dark in here. Is that the light? Sacks of flowers sit in large steel tub. Hmm. That is a very large bag of flour, guys. <laughs> very large bag. Do people really buy that large bag of flour? That size. It's not a uh, not a bakery. It's like a normal home. That's to-do list. Uh, chop firewood. Fix the washing line. More patrol for a generator. Replace valves on gas tank. Help Charlie with treehouse. So a whole family lived here once. A whole family. You have collected a note. Whenever this happens, your note is added to your notebook for future reference. Press the N key to access the notebook. Okay, let's try that out. N. Yes. Prescription? What is this? Williamsburg General, outpatient. Prescription, patient name, Peter York. 30 X Fanzonex. And my propane. Are they painkiller? My propane. So when did I pick up this note, guys? Maybe I I have this with me. Oh along. Okay, so items are stored in your inventory and automatically used by left clicking on the corresponding hotspots in the game world. Press the I key to access the inventory. Aha! Have a lighter, guys. Can I combine objects? So right clicking them by, uh, yeah, to examine those items. Trusty lighter. Rusty key. Looks like it will fit a padlock. Okay. Most of this food expired at least a decade ago. Oh yeah, my name is Pete, so that prescription is mine. And I suppose I have a problem, <laughs> ongoing problem. Headaches, things like that. Or... Um, Maybe, yeah, I'm sure I'm having some relationship problem with my wife. <laughs> so, that could be part of the problem. 
Unlock the door using that key. Okay. Wow, this is very dark. Uh oh, the basement, dark basement. Okay, I'm not ready for the basement yet. I want to go to uh, the second floor. I see stairs. The outhouse. Okay, so Ichi, you got those uh, demo Devil May Cry games, huh? <laughs> Action games. I played the first one. Don't really like it. Very fast paced action games. Uh, I have broken logs and wood lies beneath an opening in the roof. Uh, oh. Damage section of the roof. Suffer terrible damage. It looks like the master bedroom. The parents? The parents' bedroom. I'm making a mess here. This place is already a mess. I'm making this worse. Nothing. The batteries must be dead. Aha, uh -huh, much better. I wonder all the lights on. <laughs> all the lights should be on inside. I'm surprised there's still electricity here, guys. The place is so run down and there is still electricity. The lights are still working. So that is a bit of a surprise. Parenting book, your first child. A new parent's guide by Professor D. Bell. So they are new parents. And yeah, the child was mentioned in that note. The task list. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's something in the drawer, guys. Batteries! Uh, does that mean I am going to have a flashlight? Yeah, I don't have one yet, Ray. <laughs> no flashlight yet. Ooh, chocolate, guys. Very fitting for Valentine's Day. <laughs> the top shaped box. Very fitting. Uh, yeah, I'm just not that into action games. Yeah. Devil May Cry 1 is um, it's too hard. I find that game too hard. So that's why I abandoned it like um, halfway through. I cannot defeat that spider robot. Or maybe not a robot, but uh, this spider monster. I cannot defeat it. <laughs> Alright, this room is locked. I bet this one is a child of that room, the baby's room. Yeah, this one is that room. Pictures, frames, broken frames. Okay, yes, I don't have a flashlight, guys. The dark basement. I do see a light down here. Can I turn it on? Ah, uh -huh. yes. Is it blood? Oh, I think that is blood. Ugh, blood. A bloody trail. Oh boy. Here comes the music. Is that... Is that my own breathing sound? Or is someone else down here, guys, in the basement? I can hear someone's breathing. I think that's my own. Oh, okay, this is too dark. I can't see a thing, guys. Any other light? Is that a light? Okay. Oh, a light. Microphone. It's connected to the ham radio. I need to hook up the power source if I want to use the radio. Uh, that battery I just picked up. Can I use that here? A speaker connected to the hand radio. What kind of battery is it, guys? <laughs> Energetic. Energizer. Energizer batteries. 
Wow. Long line. Long life alkaline. <laughs> wow. A steel pack of two D-sized batteries. You're not sure if they still work. <laughs> Energizer. Can I just use it here? Um, the game says something about those items we reuse automatically. So, yeah, they are not for the radio. Hmm. Repair guy. Circuit board model, number 428. Integrated microprocessor, number of capacitors, 12. So that's for the ham radio. Repair guy. Hmm. Oh, it has a body, Dan. <laughs> There's a body, a skeleton, all this time. Wait, the blood trail leads to the body. So, he was dragged all the way to the bed. He's murdered. And got dragged to the basement. Dra dragged down the basement. Human remains. There's a lot of blood. There is a lot of blood. 